Hi, welcome to Mitch's World of Woods, brought to you by Surrey Timbers Limited, suppliers of local and exotic hardwoods. Wood stiffness, with the help of Gervais Sawyer, the saw doctor. Hi, when we talk about the stiffness of a species of wood, what are we really talking about? Well, I've set up a little demonstration behind me, a little jig, and hopefully I can show you uh, what stiffness is. So I've got two fixed columns here, fixed distance apart, and I've got my sample piece of wood across the top here. I've got a dial test indicator underneath, and if I put any pressure on the top, you'll see that that indicates a deflection. And stiffness really is the amount of deflection you get for a certain mass of weight or a certain force placed on the uh, on the test piece. Now I've got a number of other pieces here, they're all the same dimensions, so this test would be a comparative one. We can look at the amount of deflection that each sample gets for a given weight. And my given weight of choice this time is a number four plane. So for this sample, which is poplar, the deflection there is 1.5 millimeters. If I swap that sample out for something different, this time I've got light red Maranti. I need to reset the indicator to zero. Same weight. And you'll see the deflection is 0.8 of a millimetre. This is a sample of Greenheart. The deflection there is 0.5 millimetres. This is a piece of Scots pine. And that's just about 1.5 millimetres. And finally, I have some Douglas fir. And that's 0. Almost 0.8 millimetres. So what exactly does all this tell us? Well, we see there's a, a wide range of stiffnesses in these uh, five samples, with Greenheart being the stiffest, and Scots Pine and Poplar being the, the least stiff. Different samples of the same species will give slightly different results, and so published figures are based on many, many samples of the same species being averaged. Despite the very simple test setup that I have here, the results follow quite closely the published figures for these species. One example of where stiffness is useful is in the specification of the joists for a floor. If uh, they need to span quite a distance and you don't want the floor to become springy, then you'll go for a stiffer wood. Would you like to help me build my world of woods? If you have a sample of anything that I haven't covered yet, it'd be really great to hear from you.